we just gotten back from uh, our three-month trip to Alaska, and I was very happy to um, be able to play a round of golf with my girlfriends. And I finished playing a round of golf, and I had a really great round. Came home, and um, just about to sit down and have lunch. My husband was home. Um, he was sitting down here. was asking me about my golf game. I sat down on this table, just about to take a bite of my salad, and I felt this pain in my throat that I never had before. And I turned to my husband and said, Bill, something's wrong. I'm having this pain that I never, I never had felt this before. And I happened to be home that Saturday. And I, <clears throat> she just sat down, you know, took one bite of her lunch and said this terrible thing, you know, the, the pain she was having. And I immediately, and then she couldn't see, like she said, and I just said, we're going to the doctor, and <clears throat> we're going to the ER. And she was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. And I, get in the car, you know, I'm gonna throw you in the car if you don't get in the car. So we got in the car, and we lived luckily three minutes uh, from Los Robles. And then the next thing I knew, they took me into the back, um, in the emergency room, in the bed, and the doctor interviewed me and asked me what happened. And um, I guess he took me in for a CT scan. That's when they told my husband and I that we need immediate open heart surgery. I was called on an emergency basis to the emergency room. And I was told that there was a patient uh, who was there with a type A aortic dissection, which is a really life-threatening, uh, sometimes uh, lethal in the before patients even get to the hospital, uh, condition where the aorta literally tears in pieces. It's generally caused by high blood pressure. Oh, I never had any idea that I have any um, heart disease. I never even seen a cardiologist before. And I've been under the doctor's care for, um, you know, since in my 20s, I guess. Um, and the only thing I've been taking, the only medication I've been taking is like 25 milligram of um, Cozar for borderline uh, high blood pressure. So this came as a total surprise. So the classic symptoms for aortic dissection are severe, acute chest pain that radiates to the back. Some people will even tell you they feel a tearing sensation. It's very vivid, you can, it's very visual, you can imagine what's going on inside their body. But Dory, um, which is common in women, have a little bit atypical symptoms. She thought she had some burning in her chest or her throat, maybe some meat stuck in her throat from a lunch she had just had. But Clearly she wasn't feeling well. We learned that afterwards when I was recovering and I start Googling aortic dissection and my husband did the same thing and I, I think he told me that it was like an 80% mortality rate within like two hours. And also even in surgery there's a possibility that the aorta could uh, you know, burst and there is high mortality rate even in surgery also. I mean I was I was this close to not being here today. It's, it's just shocking. Dory was so fit that her recovery was near instantaneous. It was quite impressive. In fact, uh, I discharged her on post-operative day three. Uh, this is usually a seven to 10 day hospitalization in most patients. Three months out at this point has been asking me if she can return to an active ski, um, ski life, uh, going down Black Diamond uh, ski runs uh, three months later. So she's really an inspiration um, in many ways in keeping uh, her body in great shape. Reluctantly, my surgeon released me to ski, but he said I have to ski like an old lady and no black diamonds. So that's going to be tough <laughs> because I see those bumps and I want to do them, but he said no, no bumps. Everyone is just shocked that this could happen to me because obviously, you know, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm not the uh, uh, typical uh, uh, patient who had this type of disease. I'm totally the opposite. So um, no one can believe it. But I always tell them, you know, you never know. So you gotta live life to the fullest, do whatever you wanna do, and live life to the fullest because it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone.